see you after the con. Of course. Selena turns and leaves me alone with my thoughts. Oh boy, I don't think she likes me. Or more, it's that she doesn't like anyone. I take a moment to lean against the counter and collect my thoughts. The reality of the job finally hits me. Lloyd Newton's really here. Selena Haraway's really here. I can handle this, right? Selena turns and wordlessly seats herself in the makeup chair. I flip on the lights and sweat. The lights above the mirror are designed to match the lighting on set. The switches marked on panel turn to a series of light fluores bright fluorescent bulbs. It's pretty harsh lighting. What kind of scene are we filming? Something in a police station. Right. Cops and robbers, I should have guessed. Are you the cop or the robber? Cop of the hard-hitting, tough nature. I can't help but give Selena's frame a skeptical look. She's no stick figure, but it's certainly not the build of someone in a physically demanding job. Selena notices my sideways glance. It's television, honey. You're pretty or you're comedic relief. No one cares about realism. Uh, I mean, that's very accurate. <laughs> of course. I nod as quickly as I can. I didn't mean for her to notice, but I don't know if it's a terribly convincing poker face. I'm not sure what else to say, so I focus on the work and try not to think too hard about what she said. I finish my work and take a step back. All done. Selena inspects herself in the mirror. Thank you. She stands, stretches, and heads for the set. I follow behind her, trying not to get lost. We weave our way through a collection of wooden panels and bright lights. Lloyd waves us over as soon as he sees us. Oh, Selena, my beautiful leading lady. Oh, awesome, Mel. Good job, Serena. I did not stream art today because my hand hurts. He mimes a kiss on each of her cheeks, then points to a set built to look like the interior of a police station. The boys already put your marks down. Selena nods and quickly navigates her way through the fake police station. Not bad, Sean. Tough and beautiful. I only accented what's already there. I think most of the credit goes to Miss Harold. No, oh, modesty is for suckers. Next time, tell me how great you are. It's true. You should always tell people that you're great. It's how you get jobs. You can't be modest. If you're modest, they'll just be like, oh, why should I hire you? You don't believe in what you do. Why should I? Lloyd leaps over a pile of wires and races towards one of the cameras without waiting for me to respond. I breathe a sigh of relief. He likes my work. That's the first hurdle cleared, at least. Lloyd makes a small motion with his hand, and the recording light above the studio door lights Quiet up. on the set. Rolling. Cops and robbers. Scene eight, take one. Oh, and action! Selena strides across the set, stepping at the door at the end. She wraps her fingers around the handle, then casts an angry glance over her shoulder. Chief, he's out there killing people without worrying about protocol. We can't keep playing by the same rules. Reset, still rolling? Oh shit, Selena quickly returns from Mark. Action! Cops and robbers, scene eight, take two. Selena follows the same path. Chief, he's out there killing people without worrying about protocol. If you won't do anything about it, I will. If you won't do anything about it, I will. Without missing a beat, Selena recites to Lloyd. Lloyd's improvised line back. Good, good. Reset. Still rolling. Give me something different. What is this game? We are playing a makeup artist, and we are romancing all the pretty boys we have to put makeup on. Selena returns to her starting point and closes her eyes for a moment. Action! Cops and robbers, scene eight, take three. At the sound of Lloyd's voice, Selena's eyes snap open. She pulls a gun from her holster and follows the same path across Don't the Don't try to stop me! grabs the door's handle and marches out without another word. Cut! Beautiful. Lloyd leans over the cameraman to check the footage. I rush over to Selena. Just going to touch you up. Selena closes her eyes obligingly, and I apply a light layer of powder to her All face. All right, reset. We're going again. I scramble out of the camera's view as the rest of the crew gets ready to film again. The rest of the filming follows a similar routine. Each scene is shot multiple times from several angles. Between takes, I touch up any of the makeup that needs to be fixed. Working on a TV show all day proves to be more tiring than I remembered. After what seems like a little more than a few hours, Lloyd announces that we're done. That's Scooby, don't lie, you love it, or you wouldn't see you all again here. soon. Everyone applauds politely. And the crew begins packing up. Well done, Sean. I knew I could count on you. I'm flattered, but I'm also completely exhausted. You look ready to collapse. Something like that? How do you manage? Hmm. 
Caffeine, mostly. Oh, and good food. I just found this fuck place downtown, and it's amazing! The only place I've been that makes it better is Vietnam. Oh, man. State Lloyd. That good, huh? Lloyd gives me a cheerful thumbs up. That good. You should check it out sometime. You're not allowed to dislike it. I will when I'm more awake. Right. Get home and get some sleep. And good work today. Thank you. I pack up my makeup kit and head to the front of the studio. Whoa. The sky outside is almost completely dark. Did I spend all day here? A blast of chilly wind makes a shiver race through my body. Cold? John appears behind me. I can't tell if he's angry or amused. I've never played a dating sim first time for everything. Is it more gratifying than real dating? Um, well, I mean, my boyfriend's sitting in the other room, and I'm playing a dating sim, so you tell me. <laughs> Instantly, my muscles tighten. I turn away from him before he can see my face. What are you doing here? I speak slowly, trying to make my voice sound calm. I didn't. Sounds more accusing than anything else. Oh, that's good. John curls a strand of his bangs around his finger and gazes at it idly. Lloyd's an old mate of mine. I was just popping by to see how filming went. My mind connects the dots quickly. You're the one who gave him my contact info. I'd be lying if I said no. Why? I thought I was selfish and unreliable. You're the only makeup artist in the area I know, and it was rather an emergency. So I'm his last resort. Better than nothing, I guess. If you die in the game, you die for real. <laughs> I pull my sweater tight around my shoulders and march toward the bus stop. Where are you going? My school, why do you care? Do you need a lift? What? You're offering me a ride? It's cold out and you need a lift. I can provide one. It's no more complex than that. So now you're a gentleman. John sighs. You'd prefer it otherwise. I want a date, John. <laughs> Should I go with him? I say accept. <laughs> Seeing as I just said, I want to date John. <laughs> so, choice number two, guys. Choice number two. No, why no? Accept, accept, that's right. That's right, accept. Why no? Don't date John. John reminds me of Jude Law. Which means... Date him? <laughs> Why don't we want to date John? <laughs> Who would you rather date? <laughs> He's a creep. He hasn't been a creep. He's way less creepy than Benito. Hell yeah, nah. Weird. It didn't like Hell yeah, nah, Bacon. Nick, what? What? <laughs> uh. Oh, Bacon, I think you're not supposed to put the thing before the. Heck. He was rude before. They've literally all been super rude to us. So, I don't think that's valid. What? I thought- I thought I- I thought I had the right thing. Oh, poll new. That's why. That's why it wasn't working. Okay, vote. What we need is a shy model boy. I thought you were saying don't pick him, Scooby. We did. It's true. Do you guys really want to date the shy model boy? We can. We can date him. John's just the only one with an accent. Like, how can you... I don't know. I don't know, three out of four votes say hell yeah. Three, three out of four votes say hell yeah. 
All point. All signs point to hell yes. I really don't want to accept anything from John, but practicality wins out. The sooner I get back, the sooner I can sleep. Fine. Why not? Let's go. Well then, let's get you back, shall we? Yes, accent date him. Will dating him ruin the other routes? Um, at this stage of the game, I don't think it really matters. But I do know in this game that you can, like, double and triple book yourself. And if you've already booked something for a night, you can't book the next thing that comes along. So those things, I think, are going to um, do a lot more for us, dating-wise. The people have spoken, it's true. Look at him in his car. The ride back feels uncomfortably quiet. I hope work went well for you today. Don't be shy. Are you trying to aggravate me? No. He responds placidly. You know I'm not good with people like you are. I get scared when there are too many people around. If you think I'm good with people, I must be a better actor than I thought. You're not scared when you film, are you? I'm terrified. He almost looks hurt that I'd suggest something else. Acting is about being vulnerable, about showing the most raw parts of yourself and hoping that people don't walk all over it. When I was first cast as Knight, I was certain that everyone would hate my performance. At that point in time, I was entirely unheard of. I spent hours pacing so back and so forth in my so tiny genuine. flat, wondering if I even should have accepted the role in the first place. It was the chance to finally be known, or ruin my career entirely. But I thought everyone loved you as night. Everyone but me. Every time I watch it, I see things that make me cringe. There's a lot I would do differently now. Still, there's no sense in dwelling on the past. Onward and upward. Do you think... Do you think night is, like... Doctor. <laughs> this is guy's doctor. Is that the equivalence it's trying to make here? Because if he was fucking doctor, we're dating him. <laughs> Sorry, he just has an accent and his character doesn't have a real name. So that's immediately where I went. I'm sure you did great. You haven't seen it. I'm afraid not. Sorry. No, no need to apologize. It's not a requirement to know me. I... I could add outside of the UK, anyway. I'm pretty sure it's like Doctor Who. <laughs> I've seen DVDs on sale around here. I'd like to check it out. Don't bother unless you like fantasy and Brits. You don't have to watch it on my account. No, he was like Merlin. <laughs> you sound like you don't want me to see the it. The character Knight is such a legendary hero, I'm rather eclipsed by him. No, it's definitely the Doctor. I suppose that I'm trying to escape from him. After three seasons, it's difficult to get audiences to see me as anyone else. Guys, he's super the doctor. <laughs> We're dating him forever. <laughs> I can't do any other route in this game because I'll always be like, he's Doctor Who, I could be dating Doctor Who. <laughs> he's, he's the fucking doctor, just like, take me with you in your time machine. We'll be alright, right? <laughs> his eyes grew distant for a moment. I see a hint of disappointment on his face. But the truth is, if I can't escape the image of a single character, then I'm not a good enough actor. Oh god, he's like, he's not even like Matt Smith's doctor, he's David Tennant's doctor. David Tennant, who occasionally did roles that I enjoy and no one else does. But, that's neither here nor there. This is your university, yeah? Yeah, this is it, thanks. I head straight to bed as soon as I get back to my dorm. Today was much more exhausting than I expected. The added surprise of seeing John was especially exhausting. He doesn't seem that mad at me. I still get the feeling he looks down on me. Oh, I just want to forget about him. Thankfully, it's Friday night, so I get the luxury of sleeping in for once. I turn my alarm clock off, pull the covers over my head, and fall asleep within a few minutes. I wake up with a jolt. How long have I been, have I been asleep? Am I late for class? No. No, today is Saturday. There's also like a whole part of this game where you do scheduling and stuff. Like We haven't even gotten there yet. <laughs> I sigh and sink back into my bed. Sleeping sounds like a really good idea right about now. I notice my phone blinking. Oh, I must have gotten a text message while I was asleep. I grab my phone and check the messages. Got a potential job too. Come see me at the coffee shop on May 21st, noon this Wednesday. I fire off a reply to Benito. It should say no because we have too much work to do. And toss my phone back on the table as I stare at the ceiling. I can't believe I'm this tired. It feels like the past week has been nothing but work, homework, and sleep. It's literally in an agenda, Scoomy. 
Is that all there's going to be from now on? <laughs>